Alatau Hop region is located in Bavaria, halfway between Munich and Nuremberg. Every year, more than 1,000 growers in this region produce up to 30,000 tons of hops, from classic aroma hops and mild bitter hops to new fruity hop varieties. Thanks to the mild climate and suitable soil, as well as their experience and passion, Halatau hop growers have reached the zenith of the global market. As the saying goes, hops want to see their master every day. Hop growing involves more than 200 hours of work per hectare, 40 times more than for grain. The preparations for the new hop season begin in late fall and winter. And so do the investments. The establishment of a new trellis system costs up to 20,000 euros per hectare. When the growers start stringing the wires, it is often freezing cold. The first activities in the season include the pruning and trimming of the hop plants. Only the strongest hop shoots should be allowed to grow. For the hops to find the right way up, they need to be trained manually, which is very time-consuming. Hop growing is hard, tiresome work. The result is a product that is used for the world's finest beers. In Halatau, a globally unique hop growing competence center has developed. The Hull Hop Research Center, which is supported by the Bavarian state government, the brewing and hop industry, and the hop growers, is the leading institution in the field of growing, breeding, and processing research. We maintain close contact with the farmers. We breed new hop varieties, improve the production technology, and test new pesticides. We are constantly faced with new challenges, such as the ongoing climate change, so we never have any shortage of subjects. The two variety groups, aroma hops and bitter hops, cannot be fully distinguished from each other. Aroma hops typically provide an exquisite mild aroma and alpha contents of 4 to 8 percent. We harvest more than 1,000 different breeding strains a year and are constantly searching for breeding strains with improved disease resistance and a better brewing value. The success of the research is tangible. More than 20 productive, tough hop varieties are now being grown in Halatau. Thanks to the breeding efforts, the need for pesticides has been more than halved. Within a few months, the hops grow several meters, at a rate of up to 30 centimeters a day. You can literally watch the plant growing. We carefully observe the hop growing and breeding developments in Hallertau. In view of the different aroma characteristics of different hop varieties, we are keenly interested in new hop varieties. The hop growers in this region are competent and reliable partners, with a very high quality standard. In recent years, we realized that we could increase the diversity of our beers with aroma varieties from the region. So we would be pleased to see such aromatic and spicy varieties being grown here in the future as well. Varieties perhaps with a touch of berry and a touch of citrus aroma. Aromen. 
Summer in Halatau, hops have changed the scenery. The lush and lofty plants dominate the landscape. The growers now need to inspect their plants on a daily basis and make sure they remain lush and lofty. Before the harvest, the grower and the hop consultant meet to inspect the plants. The plant appraisal always follows the same procedure. Together with the grower, the hops are inspected, information is collected, a diagnosis is made, and further production-specific steps are initiated. Plant inspection and damage thresholds are useful tools that enable the hop grower to reduce the crop protection overhead per hectare to a feasible minimum, but without endangering the supply security for buyers. Prolonged and copious rainfall has increased the risk of fungal infection. The hop consultant recommends precautions. The conditions in Halatau are extremely favorable for hops. Hops are typical riparian forest plants that need temperatures of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, plenty of rainfall and deep soil, requirements that are perfectly met in our region. Of course, the great experience of the growers also plays a significant role. In my opinion, we have optimum conditions here. Due to the increasingly dry summers, as a result of climate change, more and more growers are switching to water-saving drip irrigation systems. The end of July. At last, it is now possible to tell what the prospective hop yield will be like. Provided, of course, that everything works out fine. When harvesting is imminent and the trellises have to support weights of up to 20 tons per hectare, storm damage is a real threat to the yield. The harvest is imminent. The hops look good. The yield will be fine, so it can begin soon. Depending on the weather, after all, it's a natural product. The hop farmers check their plants. The situation differs from year to year and depends on the temperature and growth conditions. However, the harvest usually begins around August 25th and ends somewhere close to September 25th. The harvest begins. Harvesters have mostly replaced manual workers nowadays, and these ensure that the cones are carefully severed from the leaves and stems. What's left, which is of no use to the brewer, is composted or sent to biogas plants, a positive contribution to sustainable energy production. In Halatau, the hops are dried indirectly and gently. 
The cones are dried using nothing but warm air at a temperature of less than 65 degrees Celsius. After conditioning, the hops are pressed into rectangular bales. Harvesting, drying, packaging. About four weeks of intensive work. A very short operating period for the capital intensive systems that sit unused for the rest of the year. The numerous festivals that are celebrated in the region provide evidence of the joy and relief in Halatau after the hops have been harvested. The green gold is packaged and made ready for collection. A total of about 10,000 hop batches per season, whose origin is consistently documented. Before the bales are transported to the hop processing plants, samples are taken for a neutral quality check. Depending on the variety, the extractor has a capacity of 100 to 200 grams. The samples are sent to a lab where they are carefully analyzed. The neutral quality check focuses on the water content as well as the leaf stem content, the waste content, the content of broken cones and the presence of any diseases or pests. German hop growers have always endeavored to maintain their leading position in global hop production. For this reason, we have introduced a neutral quality assessment in an external neutral lab and a certification system that also ensures the traceability of the hops from the wort kettle back to the individual hop gardens. Hallertau is the world's largest growing region both in terms of area and in terms of quantity produced. Thus Hallertau is the world's leading growing region. Hallertau is not only the world's most significant hop growing area, it also hosts the world's largest and most modern hop processing plants. We process the hops in our processing plants. In the CO2 extraction process, for example, the raw hops are first pelletized in order to reduce the volume. Then, using the supercritical carbon dioxide, the ingredients that are relevant to the brewing industry, for example the aroma and bitter substances, are extracted, resulting in CO2 extract. The extract in this jar is sufficient for producing up to 100 hectoliters of beer. Brewmasters in more than 140 countries appreciate Halatau hops, whose range of varieties offers so many possibilities for brewing unique beers. 80% of the German hops are exported worldwide. That means we live on exports. We are confident that German hops and Hallertau hops will continue to dominate the global market as they meet the high standards of the international brewing industry, especially in terms of quality and variety. Moreover, Germany has reliable marketing companies, a functional infrastructure and modern processing plants that are capable of delivering all hop products that customers need. Every year, the processing plants in Hallertau, which are among the world's most modern, convert 40,000 to 50,000 tons of hops into pellets and extracts of all kinds. Thus we cover about half of the demand of the international brewing industry. Favorable natural conditions, innovative research, competent guidance and hard-working growers have made Halatau the number one hop region. Right at the center, in the hop metropolis of Wollensach, is where all threads come together. 
Here in the house of hops in Wonsach, in the heart of the Hallertau region, the Hallertau hop growers have their association and the German hop growers also have their umbrella organization. Together with the Bavarian State Research Center for Agriculture, the Hop Processing Cooperative and the Hop Ring, the most important service providers and consultants for the Hallertau hop growers are under the same roof. Together with the colleagues here in the house of hops, we systematically take care of the improvement of the product quality, the stability and especially the competitiveness of Hallertau hops on the global market. As an association and lobby, we control all activities from Wollensach in a highly international environment. The German Hop Museum in the immediate vicinity of our association building impressively demonstrates the significant role that hops have always played for Hallertau and the region in general. Hops have been grown in Hallertau since the 9th century. This concentrated know-how is reflected in the Hop Museum. In Halatau, hops are a living tradition that characterizes the entire region. 365 days a year.